You're watching the iPhone App Show, brought to you by LameVids.com. <laughs> iPhone app show. My name is Lane Forner Rat, aka LaneVids. LaneVids.com. Make sure to check out that website. Also, if you don't mind, please subscribe to this channel. I definitely appreciate it. Today, we're going to take a look at a very cool application that syncs with the internet and your computers and your documents and your photos and all this mess. Boop. Let's get into it. It is called Dropbox. A lot of you guys might know about it already. Basically, you need to go and set this up at dropbox.com and then you can download the app, sync it up to your iPhone. What this does is it creates this box, this virtual box on somebody's server. You drag whatever you want into it. Depending on which places you link it up to, you can access your Dropbox very easily through those computers that you have set up, through your iPhone, through your iPod Touch, or go to dropbox.com sign in and you're into your box from any computer worldwide and you have access to everything that is in that box. Fantastic. Let's say we have a document that we need to work on. We open up our Dropbox folder on our computer, type do whatever, change whatever, hit save. Notice a little rotating icon on there showing that it's processing this document for use with all the other places that you have Dropbox set up. So this is great for you on the go type of people and you need your documents with you at all times. I've put some work documents in here, open that up, and I can get to any of these documents that I want to. This is in my Dropbox. I did this from my personal computer downstairs. I put it into the Dropbox. I've already updated it a few times. Now I'm accessing it on my phone. Just give it a few minutes to load. So it's loaded up and the first thing you'll notice probably is that the document looks great. It's very easy to read. They formatted it for you nicely for your iPhone. So if you ever need to review it or work on it through the phone, you can do that. There are two options that you can do once you've pulled up a document. There's a little star in the bottom middle. It's a favorite. Go ahead and turn that one on the favorites. I'll show you that in just a second. And then there's a little email button. Simply click that. It's going to generate the email for you. It says, hi, here's a link to blah, blah, blah in my Dropbox. This link expires, blah, blah, blah. It's usually a month from the day. So if you want to send it to somebody, it's safe for a month through their email. They'll take them to your Dropbox so that they can grab a copy of this, take a look at it, work with it, upload it back to your Dropbox if they have access, and then everybody gets updated. It's a fantastic application. Another nice thing about this is that this mail is right on top of the Dropbox application. So if you want to hit cancel or once you're done with it, it'll take you directly back to where you were. So let's go back to your Dropbox. Bottom three buttons, the settings, the My Dropbox, and the My Favorites. You click on Favorites. Favorites. It'll bring up that particular document that we just updated there. It'll load again and you can work with it some more. It's just an easy way to access those documents that you use a lot. There's an edit button up there if you want to get rid of it. Turn it to the side and hit remove. There we go. Let's go on over into the settings. Basically, this is where you set it up with your email. It tells you how much space you've used. With the free account, you have up to two gigs of space free. So that's enough to put a small video file in if anybody needs to share video files with anybody or larger documents. If you want to, you can unlink your iPhone from Dropbox. Just some application version. You can watch a video about Dropbox, take a tour. You can check out their help and send feedback. Very simple application, easy to use. If you want a little bit more, go and download the application. It is for free. You can check out the tour and watch the video. I definitely recommend that you do that. Last cool feature about this is the photos button in the top right. So if everybody in your family has access to your Dropbox and you're just taking some quick photos, maybe you do some editing with the Photoshop mobile that we discussed, you can simply either take a photo or choose an existing photo or video if you're on iPhone 3GS. Let's grab, let's grab this picture. This is a very cool picture I took. It's gonna upload the video for you. One thing that I don't like about this application. First of all, if you upload a photo or video, you can't change the name of it from your phone. You need to go into your Dropbox or onto the other computer, go into the Dropbox and, and change it from there. There's no setting where you can easily update the name of your files. I really don't like that. If you want to, you can hit see all and you can see all your pictures. That was in the top right. These are the pictures that you have in your Dropbox. You can favorite it again. You can move on over to the next one for just your pictures. And you can email. If you want to email this picture to somebody, it'll generate the email 
for you, put the link there for you. It's gonna give it an expiration date and you can send it away. Another thing about this application, everything is put into it alphabetically, which is nice. I like the alphabetical, but I can't move this photo into that photos folder from here. If there is a way to where you could double tap, move down, move it into the folders, that would be very cool. Some way to where you could get your photos into that photos folder. Because the other way that you have to do it is you have to open up that folder, take the picture or grab the picture, put it into there. It seems like it would be a lot easier if you didn't place them in the right place or if somebody else got into your Dropbox and they put pictures and not in the pictures folder and all this mess. You should be able to go in there through your phone so that you can organize it a little bit better. But other than that, that's Dropbox. It is a fantastic application. Definitely recommend you get two gigs for free so you may as well set it up. Even if you don't use it on your phone, you can use it on your computer. It's a fantastic application. Definitely recommend. Go get it right now. Link in the sidebar. Make sure to hook that up. And also check out thelanevids.com. Please hit that subscribe button right there. I know you like this video. No, I like you. You like me. Let's stay in contact. Subscribe to me. I appreciate it. It's awesome. You are the man or woe man. All shiggity shank. Hey, subscribe. And don't forget to rate this five stars. Favorite this video. Leave me a text comment. And also, please give me a video response. And share this video with all your friends on YouTube and elsewhere.